Hi, it's another super short video from your girl, Paws and Pearls. Here is a look at my 2021 knitting calendar. It's very shiny because I had to use packing tape to preserve the washi tape to keep it from lifting because it kept doing that. And now I can write over it with Sharpie and erase it as needed. So I'm super happy with that. Um, except for Shipping Week. Shipping Week was written underneath the tape, so that's staying because that is my deadline. I can't move that. That is what I'm stuck with. But yes, I got to use all of my washi tape. Well, not all of it, but most of my washi tape. Got to use my markers and my pens and some crayons and really went to town with designing this. So I have had a blast. I can't wait to do it for next year, too. But you'll see I have four sections for each month, so that's four weeks out of each month. And I have uh, 12 months, six on the top, six on the bottom. And I ended at the second week of April only because i that's as far as I know what projects I'm going to work on. Um, when I get back from my trip, I'm going to go through all of my yarn and this one actually is what I'm going to start out with for my aunt, as I mentioned in my video of what I got for Christmas and my birthday. But, um, and for my brother's fiance, I'm going to be using um, the Hufflepuff yarn I got. But overall, using the Sharpie to write down what projects I'm working on. If I have to move things around, then I can just erase. But I'm super excited to get started. But yeah, once I get back, I'm going to be going through all of my yarn to identify what small projects I can do, what yarn busting projects I can do, look at my pattern books to find quick and easy projects that I have enough yarn ready so I can fill out this calendar more thoroughly to kind of get myself going here. But right now, at least I have a couple of projects I know I can work on in the meantime. So thanks so much for watching and I can't wait to see how this turns out. Bye.